I was I saw these two ladies in the marketplace uh, on Saturday in the piazza in, in one of the the malls, you know, 10 minutes from our church, sitting on this fake grass by a fountain. I get in my heart to go approach them, say what I would normally so I say a variety of things. But one of the things I said that day, I'm a local pa- I'm a pastor from a local church and I look nicely at them. OK, I just look nicely at them. And I say, look, look at ladies, this is just absolutely anything I could pray for for you. Got stuff going on, you know, anything that's happening. And yeah, they both ha- they both came up with something. And so I said, oh, I'd be glad to pray for you. I said, I, I really, really would. Um, you know, in the Bible, when uh, and in, in the Bible, when Jesus prayed people for people, I don't always do this, but I said uh, he often would lay hands on people who were ill. Do you mind if I put my hand on your shoulder? To which uh, they both agreed. So I prayed for the healing power of God to minister to them. You know, I'm in the middle of the marketplace. I'm in the middle of an open food court restaurant place and, you know, nobody's paying attention. The funny part was, and I love this, they're from the Philippines. They film in everything. So uh, one of the ladies got her iPhone out and asked me to change my direction and, and speak a little louder so that she could film it. In fact, we got footage of that. And the footage I sent you was from that lady filming that. And then I said, ladies, I said, um, listen, do you mind if I ask you another question? And they said, no. I mean, by then they've already sensed the grace of God. I brought the altar to the marketplace. There is an anointing. They felt his presence. A uh, sweet lady has set up an encounter for them they have not experienced before. They've ex- they've had a divine moment with uh, with the Lord. And I just asked the next question. Do you ladies have any earthly idea how to get to heaven? And neither of them did. And I said, I'd be glad to share that with you. And, you know, w- went ahead and shared that with them. And both of them asked Jesus into their heart. And uh, I-, I could tell you story after story after story after story where it's just as simple as that. And people ask Jesus into their heart and and commonly, I have to tell you, Tina, um, we have had over the last number of years, for many years, when people ask Jesus Christ into their heart, and, and it's a genuine encounter, it's like they have come up to the altar in church, only we bring the altar to the marketplace. Uh, when they're genuine and they ask the Lord, please come in, thank you for coming in, in Jesus' name, amen. And I've already told them that the God who created the heavens and the universe, his spirit, the Holy Spirit, is going to come inside of them as soon as they say this. And, you know, share a few things about that. I am going to tell you, almost 99% or more, the minute they ask the Lord into their heart, they will stop. I, we have this experience all the time. A smile will come to their face. And in numbers of in numbers and numbers of, of encounters, people will go, oh, my goodness. Oh, I can feel him. I can feel the presence of the Lord. Now, honestly, for people who maybe lack experience in that area or have, you know, walked in that kind of um, uh, in type of encounter, you shouldn't be surprised. They've asked God into their heart. I brought the Lord into the marketplace. He's already there on mission. I simply join him. 